It'll actually give you uh, averages for the last few years, it's great. Um, and so you can look at that and you say, okay, this is how much we use, your family uses on an annual basis. Um, uh, and so now you know, well, I, you know, I want to try and offset as much of that as I possibly can. Okay. Is there any way to lower your consumption? Things like LEDs and better appliances. That's something that we did in our family. We improved, put LEDs everywhere, we upgraded our appliances, we spent a little bit of money doing that because um, it just it just made sense. We didn't have to produce as much power because we weren't using as much. Um, is it likely to change in the near future? So EVs are coming thick and fast. They really are, and there's, there's a ton of reasons for that. The main one is the battery prices are dropping like a rocket. There's all kinds of other reasons why EVs make so much sense. So they're coming. Um, if you're thinking, well, actually, yeah, an EV is for me. You might want to you might want to anticipate building a bigger system than you need right now. My friend that had the other system that's as big as mine, he did exactly that. He overspec his system. He even put in a charger in anticipation of getting EVs, uh, uh, an EV down the road. And that'll be very soon, probably in the next year or two, he'll have an EV. Finally, uh, sorry, uh, fourthly, an electrical assessment. So what's the size of your electrical panel? You're gonna take a picture. That's a very important uh, uh, piece of information for the vendor. You need to know where your meter is. Um, how the wiring is going to get from where the solar panels are going to be to where the middle, uh, to where the uh, the panel is. Um, again, just think it through. It makes sense. It's like okay, if if a, if a contractor is going to come and work on your house, the harder it is to do those things, the more he's going to have to charge. And so, and so having this information up front will help him be able to give you a quote uh, very quickly and easily, and you will benefit from the efficiency because then he won't have to charge you for those soft costs. Where would the inverter go? So the inverter, we haven't talked much about, about sort of the technology. There's the panels, those produce DC power. That goes into an inverter, which is kind of a large box um, that generally goes inside somewhere. Um, uh, mine's inside the garage there. Uh, but you gotta know where that's gonna go, and it needs to be not too far from where the, um, uh, uh, where the meter is, okay? Because those two have to come. To the okay. meter to the power. Sorry? The meter or the both actually. Yeah. Um, what size are the solar panels? Physically. Physically, they're you know I think you asked me that last week or someone did. My panels they vary in size. My panels are about as big as a 55 inch TV. I don't have the exact dimensions. I would say it's like it's they're about that high. So let's say that's five feet by maybe three feet, not quite. Three feet. Correct, yes. And again, you need to research that because there's all there's different sizes. There's different sizes. Okay, different connectivity. Do they have size? Do they get any size? there are typical sizes. There's 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 standard sizes. Um, they don't actually vary that much, but they but they do vary. So um, so digital connectivity, just want to touch that quickly. You need to have this because you, you need to be connected. To the grid so that you can track your consumption. This is actually an important part of the warranty. Uh, the panels are warranted, the system is warranted for 25 years. And if something happens, if a panel, say, stops producing at the rate that it's supposed to be producing, they need to have that data um, in order to go, oh yeah, it's producing fine, and then it went down, and so on and so forth. Plus, I gotta tell you, it's fun to watch. Oh, I'm producing this much electricity today. So, um, so do you have broadband? Is there even a port available for uh, to connect? <coughs> Quick answer for your solar panel size. So residential solar panels typically 39 inches wide, by like 65 inches tall, and long. And our commercial panels are the same width, but they're usually a little taller, so they're 77 inches. Okay. Can you just say the numbers again? 39. Uh, so 39 inches wide for both commercial right. and residential, and then 65 inches. Tall or 77 if it's a Okay. So when they're put together, you have to allow for any space. A little bit. Uh, mine, mine there was, yeah. Mine there was a bit of a gap between them. Um, you designed it very tight. Mine were pretty tight. Mine were pretty tight. Mine were pretty tight, actually. Yeah. 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 A centimeter at most. Or, yeah. yeah. It's not very much. Um, okay, financial assessment. Here's the big one, of course. How are you going to finance it? Um, I shared our family's information, so we spent $23,000. Um, we 
uh, borrowed that money from our home equity line of credit. Um, and then once we uh, renewed our mortgage, we just rolled it into our mortgage. Okay, so that's how we did it. Um, so, um, you know, is your mortgage coming up for renewal? It's something to kind of think about. Um, or if you're gonna build new, I mean, that's a whole other thing. If you're gonna build new, anyone who's thinking about building new and doesn't put solar ready roof and have, is nuts. It just, they're nuts. It just makes zero sense to me economically. Um, can you borrow from your HELOC, home equity line of credit, that's what, that's what my wife and I did. Um, is government financing available for this? The answer is it's not, but it should be. So talk to your MP, talk to your MLA, start applying some pressure because it just makes no sense to me that, that there isn't far more enthusiastic response for this. Um, is bank financing available? Kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's certainly not a customized solution, at least that I've seen in Saskatchewan for this. Again, talk to your bank, more people that, that start asking their, their bankers about this, uh, hopefully the more pressure. Um, or credit union people. Should our co-op um, do financing? Is that? Should our co-op do financing? Uh, it's a question I, I can't answer. It's a question that needs to be considered, absolutely. Um, uh, so, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't have an issue with financing if, again, if the numbers make sense. And as I tried to prove earlier, for me, the fact that I'm financing uh, this investment doesn't matter because I'm saving 13 bucks a month. So I'm cash flow positive on that. So I was like, okay, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, I am exposed, you could argue I'm exposed a little bit uh, to rate increases over time when my mortgage comes up for renewal, as I am with my entire house, but you know, I'm sort of made use of that. Anyway, so, so that's it. Those are, the, those are the six assessments. Um, that you need to spend time um, basically uh, researching, filling out your file, getting that information together, and educating yourself in order for us to get to the point where we can bundle a, a, a group together and go to vendors and say, we've got 25, 30 people, they're all pre-educated, they know what they want, they've got the financing in place, bid on this. And uh, if we can do that, we'll get, we'll get a good, um, uh, you get a good price, you know, and, and reduce your cost. So, just a quick reminder, research, 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 start a file, and that's all I got. Thank you. Okay, I just have a little bit I'm going to talk about. I was just busy printing off. I realized some of you people didn't have a chance to get to the sign-up sheet or the online one it was extremely frustrating that I put up. So I'm going to pass this around. Um, and if anyone didn't have a chance and they want to sign up, uh, here's your chance. <laughs> Sign up sheet here as well. 